Just when I thought I had nailed the whole snow shovel thing, this had to happen. I saw this in the store last weekend and I just had to get it and test it out. It's one of those spring shovels. This is an honest review. I paid for all of these shovels on my own. I'll post up there where I evaluated what I thought were the best snow shovels. A quick review, this was great for wooden decks and stairs. This one was best in any kind of snow conditions, especially heavy snow on blacktop and concrete sidewalks. But this guy might have them all beat. Let's go to a top-down shot and I'll show you what I mean. The great advantage of this guy is that it was narrow enough so that when you went on a stair, the stair came to about here, and the balance, because of where the shaft was, kept it even on the stair. This is a kind of standard shovel, 18 inches wide. The balance on the shovel, it has a tendency to dump the load, where this guy doesn't. I think this is 14 inches. I'll make sure I put it up here. And it has this nice plastic edge. And this is great because it doesn't gouge into the wood or the composite wood that most decks are made of nowadays. This has that edge. It's a steel edge and it's sharp. And it's great for black top, although it kind of can scrape your coating off after a while. It's riveted in place, really rough and tough. It laughs at concrete, whereas any kind of shovel with a plastic edge will have problems with concrete. It will just eventually wear that down. And I showed that in the video up here. It was kind of an interesting review how that all turned out. The great thing about this is this ergonomic angle because then you're not bending down as much. The shovel gets to it a little bit because of this angle here and the handle. And I went into all those details in the other video. So I'm not gonna repeat that here. So I like that and I have an idea to even make this better. But I really like this ergonomic angle and it was easier on my back. But this guy, Snow Joe, takes that ergonomic angle to a whole different level. Cause you got this flexible spring handle. And then that's just kind of the standard handle. This is aluminum. The construction here, is a little different than here. Let's see how I can get these side by side. It's longer. And this works out pretty good because it has all this extra ribbing in there. But this is set in deeper into the shovel itself and more integrated. So even though they have the same volume, so I'm presuming that this shovel will handle the same kind of load that this guy does. Just a stronger approach. Sometimes this handle wasn't aligned very well with the blade of the shovel. And I think it will balance itself out. There's this little button, if you can see here, that gets punched in and it kind of locks in place. I don't think you can ever take it out again. And that's probably a good thing. But you want to make sure that the handle is perpendicular, like a T, with the shovel blade. Because if it isn't, it's going to just be awkward to handle and use. So I kind of like this. They said spring force, but it allows you to adjust back and forth. Let's see how long this guy is. I'm gonna use my antique ruler for this. Right around 18 inches from the base of the shovel blade where this is connected to the top of the handle where you hold on to. Not bad. But the other thing this guy does, if you run your hand or your finger across here, it is so sharp, it will cut you. So you gotta be careful. This Snow Joe kind of solves the problem and in a very interesting way. First of all, this is aluminum. It's not steel. It's divoted in place and it's covered smooth on both sides. Maybe you can get that angle right here. I'll zoom in. But it looks like kind of a hollow arrow shape and they just push it on. Before I got this shovel, I was actually working on another project. It's kind of like a universal tool ergonomic design where you can lock it in to any existing shovel and kind of get the benefits of this guy right here. I'll post up there when that video becomes available if it's not there already. This has worked exceedingly well. It's real cheap and you can customize it to your personal needs. The snow is what I call M&M snow. It's got a soft inside and a hard candy shell. This is really heavy snow. I would say it's about 30 pounds to the shovel based on my past experiences. And if you know anything about snow, you might be able to see some tracks here. I drove my car, I had to go in the snow outside to take somebody to the airport, and when you run over snow, it's wet. It has since you leave 
hard ice trails. This guy just burns right through those. I wasn't sold on the screen action at first, but it does give a little bit. Also works really well on concrete. So when the snowplow gives you a gift of a heavy load, you can use a shovel like this, the half shovel I had in my previous review, to break it into shovel sized pieces so you don't give yourself a heart attack. All right, I'm gonna risk my deck for science and I'm gonna show you how well this does on the wood composite deck. Really well. Boy, that stuff's heavy. I'm just curious how much the snow is so we're going to weigh it. Got one of those luggage weight scales. Put it on here and we'll see what we got. That's 24 pounds of snow right there. I'd be safe with my deck on this shovel. So if you want one shovel, wood decks, black top, concrete, this is your shovel. And I got it for about $18. I'll post below where you can get one. They vary in price. You can probably get it from a store for $18. You'll probably pay a little more for it online. But I tell you what, this may be the only shovel you'll ever need for five to 10 years. Well worth the price. Thumbs up and comments, always appreciate it. Thanks for watching. If you like evaluations of sports gear, home gear, electronics, making and breaking stuff, designs of all kinds, check out my channel and please subscribe. Cause you never know what you're gonna see.